We're continuing in chapter 6. We just talked about the meaning of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That is, Jesus rides out on his mission to conquer the world, to bring in his kingdom, to draw people, to become his disciples. What follows behind is the red horse and the black horse and the pale horse, difficulties, uh, physical persecution, financial hardship and persecution, and then just the general wo woes of humanity, whether that's disease or even death. And that makes things difficult. And as Christians, and especially Christians at the time of Domitian when this was written, but still to us today, our question is this, how long? God, is this going to go on forever? I mean, when are you going to do something? That's a cry that so many people cry. And Jesus addresses that as the vision goes forward. As the fifth seal is opened, John says, I saw under the altar the souls of those who'd been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they maintained. They called out in a loud voice, how long, that's the question, sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long until you judge the inhabitants of the earth? How long until you avenge our blood? How long, that's the question. So it's a really gripping scene when this fifth seal is opened. Uh, God's people who have been slain, who have given their life as a testimony to Jesus, are saying, God, are you just going to let this go on forever? How long? There's an answer in verse 11. Then each of them was given a white robe. They were told to wait just a little longer. It says, until the full number of their fellow servants, their brothers and sisters, were killed just as they had been. There's an idea, this, that as Jesus carries out his mission, he has a number in mind of all those who are going to be his. He knows each one of us by name that are his children. And his mission keeps going, and he's not going to stop until he reaches everyone who belongs to him. So just hold on, just wait a little longer. Then there's the sixth seal. The sixth seal announces that there will be a final judgment. Here's what we read in verse 12. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red. The stars in the sky fell to the earth as figs dropped from a fig tree when they're shaken by a strong wind. The heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up and every mountain and island was removed from its place. There is a, a hymn, It Is Well With My Soul, which talks about, the, you know, O Lord, haste the day when my faith shall be sight, the sky be rolled back as a scroll. You know, it's this idea that finally one day God's going to make everything right. That is a reference to verse 14. The heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up. Verse 15 continues, the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and everyone else, both slave and free, hid in caves and among the rocks of the mountains. They called to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, who can withstand it? So I want you to realize here, as we began in chapters four and five, Especially in chapter 5, we had a reference to Jesus' ministry on earth, his life, death, and resurrection, and his ascension into heaven and his coronation. By the time we get to the end of chapter 6 and into chapter 7, we've now spanned the time period between Christ's first coming and his second coming. And there's an announcement. It's going to get stronger as we get into the next sections, but there's an announcement that the great day of wrath has come, and this is the time of judgment, the second coming of Jesus, when the judgment's going to take place, the sky be rolled back as a scroll, and Jesus is going to set everything straight. And those who don't know God, they're, they're afraid. They're hiding in caves and in rocks. And it's just this promise. How long? 
It's not going to be forever. God is going to return and through Jesus set everything straight. Hey everybody, thanks for taking time to watch this video. Hope you enjoy it. If so, make sure to like, comment, share this on your social media feeds. Uh, we want to encourage you to come out on Sunday morning to Sunlight Community Church. Our service times are 9 and 11. And if you'd like to learn more about the book of Revelation and you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel and you can watch these episodes from the beginning and see the entire series. Thanks so much.